49 years ago today, the Huntington community lost 75 people in a plane crash. Among the dead, the entire Marshall football team, staff, and some supporters. And today, the Marshall University community honored those 75 at its annual Fountain Memorial Ceremony. 13 News reporter Hannah Gatz joins us live from Marshall University's campus with more on the touching tribute. Rob Jennifer, the fountain behind me is quiet and it will remain that way until the spring following the Marshall University tradition. For 49 years now, they've been honoring those who were killed with a simple message of we will never forget. This is CBS News. Shock and disbelief are expressed everywhere here following what is believed to be this country's worst air disaster of the year and it's worst ever involving a group of athletes. 49 years ago, Marshall University's campus was silenced. And on this day, at the same time every year, time almost stands still as they remember the 75. Today's keynote speaker lost both his parents in the crash. I urge all of you, all of you, to enjoy your life, the precious moments you have, to spend each day with some laughter and some thought and to get your emotions going. And for many, they were. That's why staying on this stage is such a privilege for me. Nothing compares to what our team and our fans will experience tomorrow night. But no other football program has our story. Rose is set on the fountain by current players and family members who are all a part of the story including Huntington Mayor Steve Williams, who played for the Thundering Herd just four years after the crash. I was a member of the Young Thundering Herd. If you come to understand the crash, you understand Huntington. The silencing of the fountain takes us back 49 years ago. But come spring, the water will flow again to represent life and resiliency in one of the greatest comeback stories ever told. I know one thing, they will live in my heart forever and forever, and forever is a long time. We are Marshall, thank you. And tomorrow night, the Thundering Herd will take on Louisiana Tech at 7 o'clock. And Coach Holiday says they will be playing to honor the 75. Reporting live in Huntington, I'm Hannah Getz, 13 News, working for you. A beautiful ceremony. Thank you, Hannah. Wow, thank you, Hannah. Well, the university announced it's already making special plans to honor the 75 next year to mark the 50th anniversary of the crash.